Hello, I'm Jeremy Vine, and this is Panorama. The mother accused of killing her bedridden daughter. I don't use this room really, you know, it's just, um, you know, it's just Lynn's room. What happened the night she died? About quarter to one, she knocked. I went in and I saw the look of determination, like she psyched herself up. And, you know, really, I have to do this. For 10 months, our cameras have followed this ordinary mum, caught up in extraordinary events. Whatever the consequences, I will do it again. For a year, Kay Gilderdale believed she could go to prison for the attempted murder of her own daughter. And then last week, a court cleared her, the judge agreeing that she was just a loving mum trying to do the best for her sick child. The cheers of her relatives may have died down, but the debate around this case has not. If out of love and dedication, Kay helped her own daughter commit suicide, should the law take action against her or not? This is the home in East Sussex where Kay and her daughter lived. Now she has only Lynn's belongings. These are clothes that Lynn chose from catalogues. And it's the odd thing that I just bought her when, when I was out, but most of them she she chose for when she was better. Mm. Price that one. Kay be. lives on memories of the daughter she loved. She had quite a strong personality and she was very popular. She'd come home from school, you know, bursting to tell you everything that was going on. And happy child? Happy child, yeah. She loved sailing, loved swimming. She loved music and dancing. You know, she was interested in everything, really. And despite everything that's happened, I'm imagining you can picture that quite vividly. I um, have very strong pictures of her. I see her running, because she was a great runner as well, you know, and striding out, and I just catch all the things in my head of when she was able to do all that. We were all very active and we all spent a lot of time outside. We spent a lot of time on the beach here and uh, it was really the time before Lynn got ill uh, where we were very happy and we did normal family stuff. Living by the sea, a loving and healthy family. Kay, the auxiliary nurse, Husband Richard, a policeman, no clue of what was about to happen.